1987, Paul Bocuse, who's one of the preeminent chefs in the world, created an international cooking competition, as high as you can get in terms of acclaim. Chef teams from around the world would all come to Lyon in a competition that would be judged. There's a spot for the United States. We, we now have somebody that we know can win it. The intensity that Richard had was there from day one. I like calling it firepower. You have the firepower necessary. He is so driven and so passionate and so focused. And my whole life has been a series of setting these goals and these incredible challenges and really evolving that into a way to make myself a better chef. I knew I had to find a great assistant. Corey Siegel really kind of picked himself. He was like a firecracker. We are going to build a replica of the kitchen that we are going to be cooking in in Lyon, France. We are going to create a war room. Most people assume that somebody who would achieve that level of expertise would be a temperamental chef. This is called the OCD Rosendale. It's a brand new class that's just been started. You're getting ready to launch a full-scale invasion. At the end of the day, it's really the food. It's about that journey. Oui, alors on a dévissé, mais on va les revisser parce qu'on savait pas ce qu'il y avait dans le He surrounded himself with people that were better than him, and it drove him to make himself better. What we can offer him is opening the doors. He's talking about the, um, the platters that we were trying to ship out. We're on our flight to Lyon now. Uh, it's snowing pretty hard outside. Hopefully everything goes well. We had no idea how profoundly our lives were about to change. Rich has got to do his own thing. Once you get in there, you start cooking and there's no turning back. Balls to the wall the whole way. At the end of the day, everybody goes home sad except one guy. Everybody was watching him in his booth. 